I'm here with the Creality K1 SE. Now I've never installed a 3D printer before or used one. So I'm eager to see how easy this is for just like a layman to install this and get started. So let's unbox this. So get some nice sturdy cardboard here. Would like the unpacking steps as well, because there's all this foam in there, as you can see. So we need to remove all that foam. Quick installation guide in here. And here is the actual unit. Look at how massive this thing is. So <laughs> this could be quite cool. So let's set this up. Okay, so we have uh, some additional foam here. And then the power cord in there. Here's another box, completely filled with foam. And then some other stuff here. So the screen, then I think a roll for the filament. Let's see what that's exactly for. Then a pack of filament here. It looks to be white. And a box here with some tools, like a little pin or something. A little stick of glue. Oh, that's cool. Some tools to put the thing together, like Allen wrenches. And a little screwdriver, so that's nice to have. A little scraper, metal grease to grease the thing. You even get a little USB stick to transfer your files to there. Let's see how that will work. And then some cutters. Let's remove the last bits here. Foam everywhere. And then the last bit of foam right here. You push this forward and then take this last bit out. I think that's all of it. And then you have the base here. Please apply glue before print. That's cool. It's a nice little plate and very strong magnet right there. So let's get that set up. <laughs> you get some stickers to customize the thing, I think. The future is 3D printing. I'm a maker, 3D printing industry evangelist. <laughs> That's quite nice. Okay, so first we have the screen here. I'm supposed to attach that to this little cord here. The screen is at the bottom. So this is a little cord. <laughs> so like doing it, it like this almost makes you feel like you're installing this high-tech product all by yourself. <laughs> but everything is idiot proof it seems. So the steps are really well defined here. And let's get that in. That's a nice little connector. Push this in and push that down. So that should be the screen there. Okay, so now it says install the Teflon tube, but that already seems to be connected there and at the back. So that already is in there. So now at the back, we need to install the material holder, which is right here. Okay, so that's nice and secure. And then we are ready to connect it. So that's just a few steps, quite easy to follow here. So let's plug this in and then turn it on. The screen immediately pops on. Now we can select our language. It's a nice little touch screen there. And remove three screws, A, B, and C. So that's quite idiot proof. It has these arrows there to indicate the screws. And we get our tools to uh, to do that. So let's remove those. We get a few different ones, but I believe it's this smaller one here. Yeah, I think that's right. So that's to loosen the base. I think yeah, so it can move up and down. Clean that. Okay, so those are unscrewed. Let's press OK. And so now we're ready to connect this to Wi-Fi. Oh, cool. And now I'm already connected. Next. And now we can start connecting this to the Creality Cloud. I think it's their app so we can look for things there that people make. So there's the Creality Cloud app that I can install. And then just open that one. Create 3D models. Should be able to buy my device by clicking on that little square there in the top right corner. And it already sees the K1 SE. And you can have multiple devices in there. So it's also cool to see the K1 SE. And now we'll do some calibration here. Now that I've connected that, it's just doing some calibrations. It takes about 11 minutes, it says. So let's go back to it when once it's done. Okay, so now the self-check has been completed. A new version downloadable. So let's do that as well. And in the app, I can see it's downloading that firmware and that has been detected. A new firmware is available. You can also see already so two buttons here. Print from local files and print from cloud files. So print from local files. I should be able to insert the USB stick here. It's right here at the front. So that's pretty cool, but you can also print from cloud files. So let's see how easy that is. So let's first install the filament, get that part and insert that into the tube here where it can detect it. Then we need to apply some glue here on the surface where you want to uh, have your print. 
we're not going to make that uh, a very big one so just gluing that here in the middle that should be sufficient for us and that supposedly is to stick to this surface and it doesn't come off when the next layer is printed on there so that's quite important so it doesn't fly everywhere and now we can go into explore here and there are all these files that you can look through and uh, well 3d print you can search here I'm going to look for totoro because i want a little figure to go with my monopoly game i think that would be really cool to get like a little figure that you can play with so there are some different designs here this is a nice one with a base so let's look at that and then here you have this design you can look at it in 3d Then when you click slice, it slices up the design into well, different slices, different layers. So it can layer uh, everything on top of each other and make that. You can slice it for different printers. I have the K1SE, so I can look at that. Okay, so you have, you have multiple models at once on there. So here is the little Totoro. I can set that and I can duplicate it to get another one in there add designs so you can print multiple things at once but i can also change the scale so here is the here are the dimensions and then i'd like to have a very small one a 28 millimeter one to go with my uh, monopoly game so let's do that now it's really really tiny let's see how the detail will be if i make it this tiny and slice that that slicing is already done and then i can click on print here from my device, choose your device, K1 is E right here. You can already see that's online. Yeah, so make sure it's empty, of course. It's downloading the file to the device right here, that's okay. Now it's loading it, it seems. Auto detecting, it's increasing the hot bed and the nozzle temperature to make people to use the filament and make that. It's pretty cool to see all that. You can also see it's going to print my design here on the screen itself so there goes the printer right up there you can see on the screen the model that you're printing you can also see that it's heating up the hotbed that's okay now and then the nozzle temperature at 73 percent you can see that it's heating up and doing this little calibration there so now you can see that it's starting to print you can see the use time and the remaining time which is uh, 16 minutes for well quite a small little 3d print i think here okay so now we can take that and pop that right off so there's little pieces of filament stuck there but that's quite nice quite a cool detail At this scale, the details are just a little bit hard to see there, uh, but you can see his little mouth and nose. And this is perfect, uh, the perfect size for like my uh, Monopoly game. So that's pretty cool. I really like the fact that you can print these then just for any purpose that you want. So it was really easy to use the uh, Creality. It was just setting it up. I think the calibration took the longest and then just open up the app, connect the thing, and then you're ready to print. In the app itself, you can just search for anything you want, anything that other creators have created, but it's so extensive, you can just find just about anything. So it's really easy to use, even for me, I've never used a 3D printer, I didn't know anything about that, but I was up and running like an hour with calibration and everything in there. So I really recommend.